Hello, I'm Mark Taylor with Southern Oregon Hemp Co-op. And uh, we've just begun to produce a series of videos on uh, just why the Southern Oregon Hemp Co-op uh, is becoming so strong in our market with a, a great business to business platform and as well uh, on some of the other videos I disclosed on just how we're bringing in great uh, guest speakers and strong performers in the industry to ultimately help you, our, uh, our farmer, uh, who is the hierarchy of the industry, and make no doubt about it. We honor our farmers because it is the farmers that make all of this possible. Without you folks, uh, we just will close the doors and go away. Uh, one of the things I'd like to speak to you about uh, today is uh, how our network is growing and uh, we're very excited to be allied with a kind of a brother-sister relationship with the Oregon Hemp Co-op uh, up in the Salem region. Um, they have already amassed a, a great group of energetic people that are, uh, are doing amazing things and uh, Bobby and Missy are the proprietors of the um, Oregon Hemp Co-op along with uh, Mr. Niels Jen uh, Jensen who is a third generation farmer and quite a successful businessman in his own right. Uh, we look for alliances just like uh, when you are farmers out in the field, uh, you look for help from a neighbor or, or a friend and, uh, and we know that this industry is not uh, for the faint of heart and it, uh, it takes, a, uh, to use that term, it kind of does take a village. Uh, it does take a community. And so uh, the reason that we're so excited to have uh, the Northern Oregon area is that it is in fact a strong grow area. They, uh, they have a, a lot of flower uh, growers up there and, uh, and as well uh, many thousands of acres of Willamette Valley is such a huge farming community. You can see where we are excited to increase our land mass as far as member farmers. Because eventually what we're looking for, folks, and uh, I hope you see this picture, is until we put the co-ops under one roof and a bigger roof now with the advent of the uh, Oregon Hemp Co-op, uh, we then begin to, not control, because I don't like that, I don't like that word, but we begin to quite simply put under one roof large amounts of biomass. And this is what attracts the institutional buyers, uh, those that will come ca calling, will be buyers looking for the million pound orders. And it is only through co-ops, co-oping, if you will, and working together in this relationship that we now have with the Oregon Co-op uh, that uh, will allow us to, uh, to put, make one big locker with a, a large amount of biomass so we can take that and say, uh, we've our, our flag of 45th parallel hemp. Uh, by the way, the best hemp in the world is grown right here in Oregon. And uh, now with the Oregon Hemp Co-op, we have many thousands of square miles of potentially uh, offering to the worldwide market, because this is a worldwide product, uh, our fine hemp grown right here in Oregon in large blocks that makes us more attractive uh, to the buyers. And ultimately, that's what you, the farmers, are the weak, weakest on, if you'll acknowledge that, uh, is that is attracting the institutional buyer uh, who, uh, who wants to buy a large lot. <clears throat> and. Uh, and it's very difficult to sell the two, three thousand, and the five thousand pound uh, uh, blocks of hemp that you may have out there right now. And I, I think you're seeing that. So we just hope to be inviting and uh, to uh, to hopefully help the community understand that we're here from uh, the first time you put the seed in the ground to uh, to help uh, with the sale of your product at the end of the year. And uh, we're going to have some announcements coming up very soon to uh, solidify that effort and let you know more what we're doing on that front. We thank you for viewing and, uh, and uh, good farming and uh, we hope you catch our next video. Thank you.